and every second counts, of course, when it comes to an emergency. And, and during a fire, it's all about early detection. Yeah, that is critical. An Indianapolis company says it has a new kind of smoke detector that they say will save time and save lives. This technology detects fires differently than your traditional detector at home. Fox 59's Randy Spieth explains how it works and when we could see it on store shelves. Over the years, not much has changed with smoke detectors in our homes. We test them and they sound off when they send smoke. That smoke has to reach where the detectors are. Sintelligence One, based in Indy, says it has created a device that can detect fires through wavelengths. We use spectral and optical instruments to detect contaminants within the air. This is the company Smart Ambient Air Monitor, or SAM. They have a prototype now and hope to soon have them up in homes for testing. Today's smoke detector or electrical mechanical device can take up to 10 minutes to sense a smoke, to give you that alert. Our device can sense as fast as 0.1 of a second up to 10 seconds. This is a new and faster way to be able to detect a, a fire than it is going to benefit us. It benefits the homeowners, the business owners, uh, and people's safety. The company claims it can even find more harmful chemicals than your everyday smoke detector. We can detect in a home alarm, for example, CO, CO2, hydrocarbons and mold. The Carmel firefighter says detecting those harmful toxic gases makes complete sense because homes today are no longer being built simply out of wood and metal. You think about all the things that our houses and products in the houses are made up of. They're all petroleums, they're plastics, and those burn at such a higher rate. Plus, they're going to give off uh, a lot of different toxins than just your normal wood burning materials would have given off. We're developing a product that is going to literally change the way humans and people who live in houses and offices approach safety. Randy Spieth, Fox 59 News.